chilly today. Hello. That's like Michigan. We are at Grand Haven State Park. They do not allow dogs on the beach at all here. But we wanted to show you guys this campground because you're not going to believe this. Okay, so this is it. These are legitimately the sites. Now we, full disclosure, we did not camp here. And I'm kind of glad we didn't. I was looking for last minute cancellations that I was going to cancel our site. But I'm really glad I didn't. This is site number four. This right here is site number six. And that's it. That's all you get. A little bit of sand behind you. What about these ones? Right, same thing. Over here you have a little bit of sand behind you. Your, this is this is a parking lot of a state park campground. Literally. This campground feels like a parking lot more no, than it anything. Is, it is a parking lot. <laughs> Like this again th what you see is what you get here this is site number this is site number 13 and that's it right there between the yellow lines i'm not even sure how some of these people parked like i know what it takes to back in and look at this big fifth wheel here how did they back that in i mean <laughs> just enough for you gotta be good this, this is expert time. Expert town. <laughs> so yeah, we've decided we're probably never camping in this state park. I'm, I'm crossing it off my list because we're here now. Oh look, they have lots of little paw prints on theirs. I like that. But yeah, I was hoping for um, last minute cancellations. I kept looking. I was looking every single morning when I woke up. I never found any. And I'm kind of glad our site is so much better than this. If you notice, they, these have picnic tables, but they don't even have fire rings. I mean, you can't. They're too close together. There's no way. Like, look how much space this little pop-up takes up. And it still doesn't have any room. Oh, here's the, here's the campground host site. By theory, this should be one of the largest sites. Right, that's empty. Site 87. That's it. This is what you get. There's like no grass. You're on, you're, you're on the beach though. I mean, literally. Right. right, so let's see. This arrow light's cute with the double pop-up beds. But this is the upside here. You do get the lake or the, the, here's the grand river but you do get the river view right the lack of space is because you're literally on the beach you're yeah. you're on the beach I don't know how some of these people backed in. This W right here, the brave? I like this. That's a good size. It's a bit older though. Yeah, but you know what? Some of the older ones last longer than some of the newer stuff. Yeah, the, probably the older one, so is that the fuel efficiency definitely is not there. Yeah. Okay, so I think you're starting to see what the upside is here. Yeah. I mean, we're at a nicer day. Even better, but you know. Right. Although I think this is kind of cool to be honest. So you you do have. Whoo! Look at that wind blowing. Oh yeah. Mist. You do have the sand dunes and the beach literally right behind you. Now remember, dogs are not allowed on this beach. But if you have one of these sites over here, you would just be able to see the beach and be very close to the beach. Put your toes into the beach. Right, there we go. <laughs> so there is an upside. All yeah. these sites over here are within view of yeah, the beach. But you see these sites are even smaller than the other sites. Yeah. By a lot. <laughs> yeah. So that's why we've decided we're probably never camping here. Unless, the only way I would camp here... Well, first of all, they'd have to change the rules so dogs were allowed on the state park. Maybe if we had like one of these sites right here. Sure. Maybe. But that's a big maybe. So yeah, these sites over here are within view. Again, 
you're walking on the beach the moment you open your door. But if you ask me, they need to remove like every third or every other site. But if they did that, they wouldn't get the money. So yeah, this is what the state park looks like. They're all pretty much the same, guys. They're not very big sites. Some of them are within view of the beach. You can't get out, I'm sorry. Should probably just use a dog. If it was colder, the wind picking up all that water and mist would be snow right now. This is a really cute RV. This is cute. Oh, I like it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough of the Grand Haven State Park Campground. And so if you come here, you'll have an idea of what to expect, which is nothingness. Okay, no, you have a site. You're very close to the beach. You're on beach sand the whole time, but you're not going to have a lot of space. No.